This video shows how teachers can make a Google Form containing all of the Common Core state standards for each class they teach. Teachers need not make a different form for each section of a class. For example, I teach two sections of regular 6th grade math and two sections of honors 6th grade math, so I would only make two Google Forms, one form for regular math and one form for honors. Before beginning your Google Form, it's a good idea to make sure that you have the Common Core standards you are teaching readily available. You can find these standards by visiting corestandards.org. They are also listed in Inside 203. When you are ready to start making your form, visit your Google Drive, click New, and select Google Forms. Give your form a descriptive title. My title will be Sixth grade, regular math, common core standards. You can go up to untitled form and click this to give the top of the form you're working on this title. Somewhere, either in the title or in the form description, you want to record what time of year you are collecting this data. This first round of data will be collected after giving the fall 2016 performance series test. I'll then go to responses and I'm going to create a spreadsheet that will be the response destination for the data collected through this form. It's going to be a new spreadsheet and right now it has the same title as the Google form. If I wanted to I could change this. I'll click create and now all of the data collected through this Google form will go to this spreadsheet. I'll go back to questions to begin loading the Common Core standards. Notice that the standards are broken up into these categories. The first category for sixth grade is ratios and proportional relationships. On your Google form, you can have each section align with a category. The question format is going to be checkbox. This is because when the students are looking at their student goals summary report and they're seeing the top three suggested learning objectives, which I will call priority standards, students might have multiple standards from one category. And you want to make sure you give them the checkbox option because if they have a multiple choice option, they could only select one standard from each category. The first two standards are 6.rp.a.1 and 6.rp.a.2. It's up to you if you want to add some descriptive text with each standard. For example, for the first standard, I could write, understand the concept of a ratio and use ratio language to describe a ratio relationship between two quantities. Notice for this dot three standard, I have four levels of it, A, B, C, and D. I want to make sure that I include all of these levels because when the students get their reports back from performance series, the report will be given to this level of detail. I'm done with the standards for ratios and proportional relationships, so my next section will be the number system. So to have a new item, I'll go to the plus sign and put this category's title. When you are done making your form, it will look something like this model. Notice the last question 
has this other option, where the students are to list the identifying code of each priority standard that is not listed as an option above. This is in case, on their forms, the students have standards from other grade levels listed. For example, this sixth grade student has an eighth grade standard and also a high school standard. On my form, I will make this the last item, and I will have the format be short answer. When it is time to submit your form, you want to first make sure that all of your standards are listed correctly and that the responses are going to the destination that you want them to go to. You can then go to send and you can send the form to the students through email and also through a shareable link. You can shorten the URL and copy and paste this hyperlink into Canvas for the students to easily access the form. When it is time for the students to fill in the form, they will take their priority standards and they will match each standard listed to what is listed on the form. This student will look for ns.c.6b. Also, in the other section, this student will list this 8th grade standard and also this high school standard. After collecting all of your responses, your spreadsheet will look something like this. Each row is one student's response. You can analyze the data right from this spreadsheet, and you can also use the applications in Google Chrome to better analyze the data. For example, you might want to insert a chart for each category. For example, the number system data chart looks like this. This chart tells me that one student selected this .6.c standard along with the .7.a standard. And if you go over here, two students selected this 6.c standard. Since out of a class of about 30 students, less than five students selected this .6.c standard, I'm not that concerned about this standard. I'd probably want to find these students and give them some individualized reteaching and review. However, if I go to the geometry chart, I'm noticing that this .4 standard comes up quite a bit, as does this .a.3 standard. If I go to the standard, that's a geometry standard, this is about drawing polygons and also using nets. So when I'm teaching the lessons aligning with these standards, I will make sure that I include a lot of formative assessment and also uh, differentiation. A benefit to me right now is that this data was collected in fall 2016 and the students have not yet had their geometry unit. So this is an upcoming unit and I will have plenty of time to figure out with my colleagues how to incorporate more formative assessment and differentiation. To further use this data to differentiate, you can go to Other and these are all the standards that were listed for students as priority standards that don't align with your grade level. However, since I teach sixth grade, I am concerned that I have some students who need to work on fifth grade standards. 
and also some students would benefit from some enrichment since seventh grade standards are listed. By using Google Forms in conjunction with performance series student goals summary reports, teachers can identify which lessons and units need to be monitored more closely to ensure student achievement.